Hey guys, it's Brett. And Brad. We're your independent sensing consultants. Soon to be just Brad. <laughs> he tried to switch, he was trying to switch, switch things spots. up. He was sitting over here, I'm like, I always sit on this side. You need to go to that side. We gotta switch things up now every now and then. awkward on that side. I'm always on the left side. <laughs> Anyway, we're your independent sensing consultants, so we're here with a Harry Potter first sniffs. We have the, what is it again? Honey Dukes. <laughs> Honey Dukes collection. Can you tell we're not, we don't uh, know Harry Potter very well? I forgot what it was called. Harry Potter, Harry Potter Honey Dukes. And look, it's in the shape of, the box is like a piece of candy. You know, where you twist like a little Tootsie Roll thing, you know? It's really cool. That's cool. My best friend Courtney is so excited for this. Yeah, so we've never seen the Harry Potter movies at all. So I was asking her questions. As a matter of fact, let me get my phone because I'll, I'll read to you what she was saying about this. So I, did, I said it was this. I knew they have this at the Wizarding World at Universal Studios. They have an actual candy shop called Honey Dukes where you can go in there and buy candy. And that's, But I didn't know if it was actually in the movie. I assumed it was, but she said yes, it was. She said, I said, was it there in the movie or... Uh, just a Universal Studios at Wizarding World. She said both. The shop is in the third movie, Prisoner of Azkaban. Azkaban. Movie one shows you some of the magic candy. And then she said the candy shop is in the town of Hogsmead or Hogsmead. So yeah, and then I she think it's Hogsmead. Hogsmead. Mm -hmm. Then she saw a video clip of the candy shop where Harry Potter is going through there, filmed in first person. He's invisible, and there's a full, he takes somebody's sucker at the end of the floating sucker because he took their sucker. He's invisible, I guess. So yeah. So thanks, Courtney, for the information. We really need to watch that sometime. It's on uh, I think HBO Max, I think, because we have it's just Max now, but it was HBO Max. I think they have all the Harry Potter movies. I just we need to do that. I just haven't got around to it because we saw so much Harry Potter product, I kind of need to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd like to know a little bit more about it when we're selling so much Harry Potter stuff. So anyway, the Honey Dukes collection is what we got today, and these bars are inspired by candy that's actually in the Honey Dukes store. The actual candy that's in there is what these bars are named after. So you open up the top here, and then... It says Honey Dukes well, Sensi Wax Collection, and it's got the fragrance notes. What do you know? I'm so happy the Mother's Day collection didn't have the fragrance notes on the top, but this does. So it has all. The names of the bars there, and it's got the fragrance notes underneath the names. So that's awesome. So now we will open it up here. I guess you just I think open you just it up twist and it. twist it. Kind of like this. Twist it. It was, you know, it reminds me of. It reminds me of one of those. Remember those things you played in the school? The little, where you a little wrote a little name like colors, and then you do the little, you know, the little, the, whatever that thing's called. That's what it kind of reminds me of when I was opening it up. You got it. Open what was there. that thing called? I forget what they're it's called. It's called a. Uh, gosh, I don't, can't remember. Don't worry about this side. You got that side. Okay. Mister. One side's all that needs to be open, Mister. I guess I just come out like that. Yeah, just slide out from the side and you open up the side. Yeah. That's cool. It smells good. Yeah, it smells fruity and... <laughs> it smells good in there. Bakery fruity. A little chocolate, maybe. There is chocolate in one of these, so we'll see. Okay, so there's four... Four bars. So we're just gonna grab... Go with the first one on there. Okay. With so, the scent notes. first one is cauldron cakes. And it's kind of like an orangey, rusty orange color. So, the notes on cauldron cakes are cinnamon, sugar, spiced vanilla cake, and vanilla bean. So, hold on for you open that. I'm thinking this might be similar to, based on the notes, I'm thinking it might be similar to like almond croissant or like, uh, what was it, king cake and, oh gosh, the one that we had for the fall. 
That other one, you know what I'm talking about. I can't think of the name right now off the top of my head. It's the one that kind of smelled like almond croissant and butter pecan, all that stuff. Based on the notes, I'm thinking it might be like that, but we'll see. We can't remember stuff like that, but I can remember what people are buying at Quick Trip. Like last night, people were walking in and I went over and got the pint of McCormick's for this guy that comes in and gets McCormick's every night. And this lady comes in, she gets a pack of L&M Turkish 100s and this guy that gets snus frost every morning. And But I can't remember what is what and smells, like what the heck. Better, <laughs> What's wrong with me? Better brush up. <laughs> You don't eat, live, and mm. you don't eat, live, and breathe it like I do. I don't think. Mm. This is kind of like a mix between, um, like a a, a a fall and like fall and like springy or something. Sunny. Summer, I think. It smell. It smells really good. I really like it. it kind of reminds me of like. Both in between. Doesn't smell like a mix. The cake. Don't cinnamon. smell like a cake, but you can smell the cinnamon in there. For cinnamon sure. sugar and the yep. uh, spiced vanilla cake, the vanilla bean. I think that vanilla bean and the spice is what makes it smell like spring and or summer and fall. I mean. Okay, it's so not like oh my or king mm -hmm. cake or anything. No. Nope. Ooh, you really get that spiciness. It's in there. really good though. I like I it. Like I'm it. actually happy because I was hoping it wasn't going to be like those because they've had so many that have been kind of similar to that and I didn't want it to be like that. I, even though I loved all those bars, I wanted something different. I kind of like this one enough where I might put this in my... Um, can you buy these separate? Because if you can, I might put this in my club because I kind of like that. Yeah, you can put them in your club. That's separate, another one that I separately. really like. That's really good. I like that. It's like, so I get... I do get the... Cinnamon sugar, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Kind of like, it almost kind of reminds me of like, almost like pumpkin or something. Like a pumpkin cinnamon swirl a little bit, maybe? Maybe like pumpkin cinnamon swirl or like scary good, like a uh, pumpkin roll. It's giving me that kind of a vibe. It's like fall. I, I do get fall. Kind of fall, summer. But I'm to not me. getting the summery so much. What do you get in summary about that? Maybe the vanilla in there. I mean, it could be. It could be for you. It's not overly pumpkin-like. Mm. It's it's got a pumpkin quality to it. Like I said, with those bars I just named. I don't but think it's pumpkin anything. I'm getting pumpkin vibes, mm. but not like again. I think your sniffers broke again. It's not pumpkin per se, but it's some of the because some scents. We had another scent that was like this before that I said the same exact thing. Some pumpkin scents say they have pumpkin in them, but they don't really have pumpkin. They just smell like a, like a spice, like a spice cake or like a, a pumpkin spice, but it's not really pumpkin, if you understand what that means. It's not what, it gives me that kind of a vibe. One of the scents that doesn't really have pumpkin per se, but it has like a pumpkin spice kind of quality. It's probably that cinnamon, but then the vanilla, vanilla bean, the spice cake is probably that spice too. Sorry guys, this is my morning time. It's, it's kind of like one of those kind of fall bakery kind of things. But it's not exactly pumpkin or anything though. It gives me that kind of a vibe though. But it's really good. It does, you said it smells like fall and pumpkin not stuff isn't fall. It does not remind me anything of pumpkin. Well, it does me kind of. Yeah, it smells so much like something I've smelled before too. When you smell some, when you've been doing scents for years and years, candles and wax, most, something's always going to remind you of something else. Whoopsie. It's giving me vibes of some kind of fall stuff, but it's good. So what's like. the next one? Exploding bonbons. Bonbons? You know who you used to eat bonbons? Shake your bonbons, shake your bonbons, shake your bonbons. You know bonbon. who used to eat bonbons? Who? It's an old TV show. Married with children. She did. Katie Seagal. Which would have been a, what was her name on the show? Peg Bundy. Peg, yeah. So this is your shake your bonbons. Ugh. Hold on. And it is uh, orange. It's like a, yeah, yeah kind of like an orangey color too. What was the difference on that one? It's about the same. It's, it's a little one, lighter. A little bit lighter than the cauldron cakes. 
Okay, so exploding bonbons is juicy orange, candied pineapple, white chocolate, and sweet vanilla. So orange, candy pineapple, white chocolate. And it says on here, it says exploding, it is a real boom, bond bond. What's in here? Juicy orange, candy pineapple, white chocolate, and sweet vanilla. I didn't think you said orange, and I was like, oh, I get orange right away. You know what this reminds me of? Creamsicle. Orange creamsicle, orange dreamsicle creamsicle. Mm hmm. That's what it reminds me of. So, Did I just so you, remember a scent? Yeah, well, we have orange. Is it dreamsicle? I think it's orange dreamsicle. Or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you get the orange and the sweet vanilla. Do you get pineapple and white chocolate? Mm hmm. Maybe pineapple, but no white chocolate. Oh my god, this smells exactly like something else. What does this smell like? I thought it was Dreamsicle. God, this smells exactly like 100% something else that we've had, but it's good. What does this it smell like? It smells really good. It doesn't smell like that to me. I don't get it. I get the orange, but I don't get a lot of cream. I get a little vanilla, but I get... Maybe it's the, it's the orange and pineapple I'm getting. You don't get pineapple? I get the pineapple. Smell that again. Orange and pineapple. Not really. A little vanilla. But I don't feel like a pineapple, because it's not like the orange creamsicle, dreamsicle, because I get pineapple, and I don't get a pineapple on that. But gosh, it reminds me so much of something else, but I can't think of what it is. <clears throat> Very similar to something we've had before. Comment below. If you smelled this, what does it smell like? I know it's something we've had before. She Almost exactly. A lot it's nice, though. So I do get the orange. I get orange and pineapple. I don't know about white chocolate. I don't really get white chocolate. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But I do maybe a little vanilla. A lot, mainly orange, pineapple, and just touch vanilla. So yeah, that's good though. That's very similar to something else. Give me the next bar. Next one. Oops. Fizzing Whizbees. And. Like a pinkish color. So this is chocolate dipped strawberries, apple, melon, sugar, coconut. Just a big variety of stuff there. Wow. It's really different. What are you getting there? Get the chocolate dipped strawberries, apple, melon, Reminds coconut. Reminds me of a potion. Because <laughs> it's just a mix of a... A mishmash. Yeah. Is it good mishmash? Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. It's just different. It's like just a mix of like everything. No, it is. I get like almost everything. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Oh wow. It's really so it's really cool how you can get like all of those scents. Yes, I get the chocolate. I really get the chocolate. I was afraid I wasn't gonna get the chocolate because I heard some people didn't get the chocolate that have had this already. I totally get the chocolate in there. I get the chocolate and I get strawberries. Uh I kinda like it because it's I just think I get, so different. Yeah, I get a little apple, a little melon, and I think I get a little coconut. I feel like the apple, melon, and coconut is kind of, kind of really mixed. Oh gosh, really mixed together. Great. Gosh. Now I'll put stitch marks all over the table. And now I really get everything. I get every single one of those notes. But they go really well together, I mm -hmm. think. Mm, it's, it's really different. good. It's kind of yummy. It smells really good. It's delicious. A little stronger on the bottom. I liked it better on the top a little bit. Nah, yeah, it's still good though, we'll see. Now that reminds me of Harry Potter. I like Even it. though I haven't seen the show. Just something that would be on just there. Just something that would be it's on there. It's kind of different. Like watching the show, I could imagine this being on there probably. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I like it because it's, it's not something, it's not like 
like the one I just had it remind me exactly something we had before. This is, doesn't remind me of anything we've had before that since I've been with Sensi. That's good. That's unique, I think. Oh. So that's Fizzing Wizabees. And then lastly, we have this one here, which is Sherbert Lemon. Or Sherbet. Do you say Sherbet or Sherbert? I say, I say Sherbert. It's a yellow wax. So this is candied lemon. Don't smell this yet. Hold on a second. Candied lemon, lime, orange, and sparkling sugar. So I'm thinking we've had a lot of lemon scents lately. So I'm thinking it might be like lemon lime fizz from the Easter collection or uh, the Disney Wish Bar, Magic in Every Wish. Those both kind of smell the same. They had like lemon and like sugar and a little bit of lime. So this has lemon and lime and sugar, but also orange. So it sm might smell like those, but with orange added in it. Kind of reminds me of when you go through the car wash. <laughs> An automatic car wash, and you get that smell. Does it? But it also has a pretty small, pretty strong lemon smell too. Hold on, let me get the lemon on visits right down here on the floor here. In this box. Uh, but you know, it's, oh no, that's soft pomeria. Mm. There's yellow box. Okay. Mm. It's very lemon. Very, very, very lemon. It's very, very lemon. Okay. Okay, it's not like those. It's different. It's not like those. It's more lemony, I think. This? And it smells like, I don't know, something about it reminds me of the car wash when you first go in and it comes yeah. down and that smell. You know somebody that else, smell. somebody said that for some other scent. I was just watching a YouTube video and they said, uh, what was it? It wasn't this bar, it was some other bar. They said it reminds them of those rainbow colored stuff mm -hmm. that goes down in your car. What yeah. was that? I can't remember what scent that was. Somebody's video, they said that. For some reason that reminded me of that. Kind of does. It gives you that kind of that? a fresh... I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it does. And I don't even watch YouTube. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a cleaner. Well, I don't watch the YouTube you watch. I watch construction. You don't watch sensitive videos? Building things, YouTubes. It gives you a cleaner, like a car. It reminds me of a cleaner lemon. It's a little pledgy, but more like a car. Well, you said car cleaner, like. Ooh, on the bottom it really is. Mm -hmm. It's very much a cleaner lemon to me. Now, I a lot of people think a lot of lemon smell pledge and I don't usually get that a lot like some other people do but this one I totally get that. I don't get no pledge anything on that. I Not just, necessarily pledge it's just like reminds me of cl fresh clean. Something you clean with though some kind of lemon cleaner mm -hmm. not necessarily pledge per se but it's like a cleaner type of lemon so I I mean I get lemon and lime sure I mean I guess not real sugary some other ones orange no I don't get a lot of orange either. It could be in there a little bit. It could be like, cause some of those orange cleaners too. Maybe like a lemon lime and like an orange cleaner type of thing. Yeah. I don't know that it reminds me of Sherbert. Ah, I don't, hmm. Do you think it's more like Sherbert? Not really. Kind of a not, it's like a little bit of Sherbert, but then kind of cleaner too. I think it's a little bit more cleaner, a cleaner lemon lime orange thing more than sherbet to me. But yeah, it's not like the lemon lime fizz. Lemon lime fizz I have right here. I think that seems really light for some reason. This. Yeah, that just smells like regular lemon lime, like a gumdrop. Yeah, that doesn't smell like that at all. This is like a gumdrop kind of thing. This smells. Yeah, oh, there's something in there. It's so like a cleaner. I can't. Yeah, it totally does to me. But yeah, I love it. It, it is different. You like it though? Mm -hmm. I do like it. I like it's different for a lemon scent. It's not. I'm glad it's not like everything else we've had. I'm just all not, the others is pretty much the same. This I'm one's not totally different. 100% in love with the cleaner type of lemon, but uh, we'll have to see what it does when warming. So we'll see. All right, so uh, what's your favorite out of those? 
Um, let's see. Don't mix up my pile. Oh, you go first then. But, mm. So my first one is the Cauldron Cakes. That's your first one? That's my first. That's my number one. My number two is Fizzing Willoughby, Whiz, Whizbees. Whizbees. My third would be the Sherbert Lemon. <clears throat> and then my fourth would be the Boom Bonbons. Exploding bonbons. Uh, God, that exploding bonbon smells just like something else is gonna drive me crazy. Cause I can't think of what it is. And the cauldron cakes kind of does too. Some kind of fall bar we've had. Oh, gosh, so so I can like it. But okay, I think. God, oh, that fizzing whispies almost smells like strawberry, like. Chocolate covered strawberries and chocolate covered bananas. Why am I getting banana out of here too? Get banana a little bit. Do you get banana in that? Maybe. <clears throat> like a chocolate covered banana too or something. Maybe. Like a chocolate banana strawberry. Uh, I like that. That's my favorite. Fizzing Whizbees. That's my it's so unique and different. I like that. And then I think. Yeah. That's why it was my number two. It's my number one. Cauldron cakes is my number two. Because it smells like something else I've had before. It's very similar to that. Yeah. I hate that one I have. I was like, I cannot think of what it is. Something fall we've had before. And then... Hmm. Exploding Bonbons is my third favorite. And that's the one that smells like something else too that I can't think of. But you get that orange and stuff in there. Was an orange exploding bonbons? Yeah, the orange, yeah, orange and pineapple, and then sherbet lemon is my number four, only because it's just that cleaner type of thing that I'm not sure I love. Not bad. I mean, it smells good. I mean, cleaner smells good, but I might just I don't know. I don't. I mean, I like it. We'll see how it does in warming. But that was my least. That was my number four at all. So yeah, that's the Harry Potter. Uh, Honey Dukes. I keep forgetting the name of it. Honey Dukes collection. So these are for sale. You get this pack here. They're not for sale separately. You have to buy them in the pack, but they're cheaper to do that because it's a better deal to do the pack because it's $24 for this pack, which makes them $6 each, which is the price of a regular bar, but they're licensed bars. So Normally, license bars will be seven dollars now because they were six fifty. They went up to seven dollars, but to twenty four for four, they end up being six dollars. You can add them to your club too, but they're seven dollars when you add them to your club. Unless you have thirty dollars or more in there, then you'll get ten percent off of the seven dollars. But still, it's going to be a better deal to do this because you'll get them for six dollars each. But you have to buy one of each though when you do it this way. Mm -hmm. But like I said, if if you want to, you can just put them in your club and get them that way if you, you don't want all of them. All right, so, and they are available now on our website along with the Harry Potter, uh, and Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, I believe, warmer. That's $55. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, y'all.